Hello, champs and cuties. Are you ready to learn something super cool today? We're gonna learn how to tell the time. After today, you'll know how to read the clock like a pro. First, we will see the parts of the clock. Come. Look at this big round clock. The gray lines indicate the hour numbers. This clock has three hands, a small one, a big one, and a blue one. Small hand is called the hour hand, and the big hand is called the minute hand. The blue one is the second hand. Let's learn about the total hours. We know that there are 24 hours in one day, but usually only 12 hours are displayed on a clock. Now, let's learn about the minutes. There are total 60 minutes in an hour. Look at the big hand. It points at the top on the number one. From 12 to one, there are five minutes. From number 12 to two, there are 10 minutes. From 12 to three, there are 15 minutes. From 12 to four, there are 20 minutes. From 12 to five, there are 25 minutes. From 12 to six, there are 30 minutes. Similarly, when minute hand moves from 12 till 12 again, that means when it moves one complete circle. Total 60 minutes are passed. A 12 hour clock shows time by dividing the day into two parts. Morning is AM and afternoon to night is PM. Now let's talk about AM and PM. AM means it's the morning when the sun is coming up. AM means antimeridium or the time before the midday. PM means post-meridium or the time after midday. We use AM when we are telling time during the morning. We use PM when we are telling time during the afternoon and evening. Look at this clock. The small hand is at eight, it means eight hours passed, and the big hand is at 10, means 50 minutes passed. It can be read as 8.50 a.m. or p.m. Now, look at this clock. Small hand is at 10, that means 10 hours passed, and big hand is at 12, means zero minutes passed. So it can be read as 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Now look at this clock. Small hand is at two. The big hand is at six. That means 30 minutes passed. It can be read as 2.30 a.m. or p.m. Let's learn about two types of clocks. 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. To learn this, let's visit the zoo. Come with me. Okay, so this is a zoo poster. Look at the zoo poster to know what time they will open. It is written that the zoo will open at, then the picture of the clock and in the morning. Now tell the time. Since it is in the morning, we say that it's AM. Clearly the small hour hand is at nine and the big minute hand is at 12. So it can be read as 9 AM. Now let's look at this zoo poster for the zoo's closing time. It is written that the zoo will close at, then the picture of the clock, and then at night. So what time does it say? Here, the hour hand, that is the small hand, is at seven, and the big hand is at 12. So it can be read as 7 p.m. That means the zoo will close at 7 p.m. at night. Now let's learn about some more clocks. Clocks around us can be analog or digital. As we know, 12 hour analog clock does not show AM or PM. While some digital clocks show AM or PM and some of them use the 24-hour format. 
We know that a day has 24 hours. A 24-hour format clock does not circle back to 12 beyond midday, which means that 1 p.m. is read as 13 in 24-hour format, 2 p.m. is read as 14 in 24-hour format, 3 p.m. is read as 15, and so on. The 24-hour time will not cycle back to count from 1 to 12, but will continue counting the hours until it completes the whole 24 hours in a day. Let's learn in detail about the switch between these time format. If we have 24-hour time and want to convert it to 12-hour time format, what should we do? Look at this example. In this digital clock, it's written 21. 21 is bigger than 12, so it's past midday. So we will subtract 12 from 21. So 21 minus 12 will be 9. So 21, 0, 0 is 9 p.m. Now, we have 12-hour time and want to convert it to 24-hour time format. Let's learn. In this digital clock, it's written 5, 0, 0 p.m. To convert, we will add 12 to it, which will be 17. So 5 p.m. is 17. Look at this poster. Ozil went to the zoo to watch the dolphin show. She arrived at 10 a.m. Based on this poster, how long did she wait for the show? In this poster, it's written that the show will start at 15. Since the time 15 is greater than 12, it means that the dolphin show is in the afternoon. Let's convert this 24-hour time format to 12-hour. So, 15 minus 12 is 3. This means that the show will start at 3 p.m. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., we have five hours. Therefore, Ozil waited for five hours to watch the show. Wow, you all did amazing. Now you know how to tell the time, hours, minutes, and even a.m. and p.m. We also learned about the conversion between the two time formats. Which format do you prefer in telling time, the 12 hour time, or the 24 hour time. Do tell me, keep practicing, and soon you'll be a time-telling master. See you next time, bye-bye.